Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today is an exciting day at Speed Addicts because we have an all new Suomi. It's the SRGP. Suomi is known for ultra high performance racing helmets, and the SRGP is their brand new top of the line flagship model. This is a track ready helmet. We're going to run down some specs and then we'll jump into features. To start with, let's talk about shell construction. They use two different shell constructions. Their base model is a composite or fiberglass, sorry, they call it a tri-material proprietary aramid composite or a full carbon fiber. There is a price difference. You pay more for the carbon fiber, you save some weight. This is the gloss full carbon fiber jammy. And then this is one of their graphics. It's the Glory Race. The composite version is still lightweight, weighing just 3.3 pounds, and that's for a size small. It does vary throughout the sizes, whereas the carbon fiber is only 3 pounds. Now, it's not the lightest helmet Suomi's made, but it's significantly lighter than most of the top flight aerodynamic racing helmets. You know, the Shoei X14 weighs nearly 4 pounds, whereas this comes in more along the lines of like an AGV Pista, which I think weighs right around. 3.2. Solid colors come in just north of 500 bucks, which makes it a bargain compared to those other two helmets I just mentioned. Carbon fiber models go up to the mid 700s, and Suomi backs it up with a two year warranty from the purchase date. On Suomi, Speed Axe handles all this, the warranties directly, so it will always take care of you should you have any problems with a Suomi SRGP that you purchased from us. And just uh, as a little side note, there are some European sellers that sell Suomi into the United States. Uh, do be warned, those are not DOT helmets and they will not be uh, warrantable in the United States. So make sure you buy from a dealer in the US if you're looking at Suomi uh, and hopefully it's at Speed Addicts. So I think this price range is pretty con fair con considering some of those uh, competitors are priced at well over $1,000. Let's see what you get for your money. First of all, there are four shell sizes. More shell sizes is a good thing. That means you're not wearing more helmet than you need to. Cheaper helmets will use maybe one or two shell sizes. Uh, making more shell sizes is exponentially more expensive for the manufacturer, but it means you get a better fit. So the shell breakdown is as follows. Extra small and small get their own shell. Medium gets its own shell. Large gets its own shell. And then there's a four shell sizes for extra large and double X. So that means this helmet fits a lot better than some of the older models, like say the SR Sport. It does still run a little bit small. We'll get into that later. But just to, to warn you, if, if you worn Suomi in the past, you're gonna wanna wear the same helmet size you, you wore in your previous Suomi. If you're coming from another brand, uh, Suomi runs about a half size smaller, um, as do, do most of the other European manufacturers. So I would round up based on the sizing chart. If you have questions, call and talk to Speed Addict here and we'll help you out. Certifications, this helmet is DOT and ECE 2205, okay? Most uh, European manufacturers use that ECE spec and even some of the, um, the traditional manufacturers are moving to ECE. Um, in addition to those two standards, the Suomi SRGP is FIM in four sizes. So uh, FIM is required in MotoGP but they only do it for the smaller sizes because that's what the athletes wear. So extra small, small, medium, or FIM rated. They didn't bother to go through the, the trouble for the larger sizes, but we assume same design, same materials, probably the, the same safety there. Next up, ventilation. So we have five intakes on this guy. Uh, we have one in the forehead, two up on the temples, one down here on the chin, which can, these all can be turned on and off with switches. Um, the switch for this one is inside of the helmet. And then a fifth right here up top. Underneath the rear diffuser, you have your exhaust. So you're gonna get a killer Venturi exhaust. It's gonna suck the hot air out, the cold air in. But the real secret for Suomi and their ventilation is the channeled styrofoam EPS. So inside of this helmet, if you remove that headliner, you're gonna see channels in the foam. Those work as energy absorbers, but they also work as a ventilation duct. So you're gonna get cold air right onto your scalp. That combined with their headliner, which is pretty minimalistic, means you're gonna get lots of air through this helmet. It's great for hot track days. Next up, let's talk about the shield. 
So Suomi used to use a lighter weight shield that was thermoformed. Started life as a flat sheet. They would stamp it and then heat it up and bend it. That is the lightest shield you can make, but it's not the most optically correct or sturdy. They've moved on. The other problem with that is it's, it's harder to use with a, a pin lock insert. They've moved on to an optically correct thermoform shield. And this shield is a bit heavier but it is really sturdy and you can run a pin lock. We'll get into that in a second. It's got an eight ten, uh, detent system. Some of the other Suomis did not have that. That's great because you can ride with this slightly up and get some cool air. You'll see that all the Suomi SRGP shields are tear off ready. Again, this is a racing helmet. Um, if you're on the track and it's a buggy day, tear offs can be nice. Up in front, it has a very positive locking. Um, shield retention system and that is good at high speeds you do not want your shield to come loose when you're on the track and the pivot kit much improved over previous suomis okay they finally kind of figured this out um, it's not the easiest but it's relatively easy you pull down this pops out you pop it back in these hold up really well well uh, to abuse and it is spring loaded so as you close this down it's going to be pulling it onto the helmet these seal really well compared to say the SR Sport. Uh, we like what they've done with the whole shield system here. And to mitigate fog, like I said before, they're using a pin lock insert. This is where most of the industry has moved. Suomi used to fog treat the inside of their shields. Worked pretty well until you had to clean the inside. It was kind of a tacky film and it would be you know, easily disturbed and then you'd probably have to toss it out. Now they're using the pin lock insert. If you've got fog issues, they include that in the box. Let me show you that real quick. So with your Suomi SRGP, you will get this beautiful deluxe carrying case in addition to a helmet sock. You will get a chin skirt, okay? And they include the pin lock insert free of charge to manage your fog and some cool stickers. So we like that they moved to the pin lock insert over the fog treatment. The biggest change in the SRGP and the real game changer are the aerodynamics. And you can see that just by looking at it. This is a very long helmet, right? It looks like some of the other racing helmets you've seen over the past couple of years. Longer is better when it comes to aerodynamics. It creates less drag, more stability. And so you've got this really long footprint. Okay, so it's gonna be stable at high speeds. And then the other big leap forward Suomi's made is with their iPort. And most of our uh, riders who have upgraded to the SRGP already from older Suomi specs, the main thing they're saying is that this iPort is huge. It's 92 degrees by 210 degrees. So you're gonna get excellent peripheral vision and it's positioned to work best in a tuck. Okay, so you know, if I love you Goldwing guys, but this helmet's probably not for you. Uh, it's more for a tucked aggressive riding position when it comes to cutting through the wind. I've been told that Andre Davizioso, among other MotoGP athletes, had a big hand in the R&D. It, it's taken a couple years to get this thing right and finally get it in the United States. We're stoked to finally have it here. Let's flip it over and see what's inside. You flip the SRGP over and here's what you get. So first up, <clears throat> this is a first for Suomi on their street helmets, emergency quick release uh, cheek pads. That allows EMS team to get the helmet off your head in case of an accident. So they finally have done that. Also, typical double D ring closure with your um, the strap retention system. You clip that on there so it doesn't blow around in the wind. Let's pull out the cheek pads. It is a very supple liner. This is a nice place to be. And the cheek pads now wrap around, which means this is also your neck roll. Previous Suomi models did not do that. And so if your neck roll got tore up, you're kind of out of luck. They didn't sell those separately. So now they are one and the same. Here's your cheek pad. So like older models, you can customize the cheek pad fit. Uh, oftentimes we can make them thicker. Some cases we can get you thinner cheek pads. We do that for free at Speed Addict. So if yours doesn't fit perfect out of the box, we got you covered. Let's pull out the liner here. It's got a four snap system and thermo welded seams. You can see all of those holes, right? That's gonna allow the air to get on your head. Um, 
Touring helmets tend to have a lot more low density squishy foam. This is comfortable, but it remains lightweight and it's gonna get lots of air on you. If we look inside here, you can see those beautiful channels. That's that ventilation system I was talking about. It's gonna get air right onto your head. Also inside the helmet while we're looking, there is uh, a switch here that controls that chin bar vent and also a hydration plug-in. So hot track days, you can run a hydration system that is a lifesaver. So if you're after a ultra high performance racing lid, it's really hard to beat the Suomi SRGP, especially at that starting price of just over $500. You're getting a MotoGP ready helmet for nearly half the price of some of the competition. At Speed Addicts, we always offer free returns and exchanges, so shopping is risk-free. If you need to custom fit, it doesn't fit perfect out of the box, need to send it back, whatever you need, call Speed Addicts, we'll take care of you. If you want to get one of these, we've got plenty in stock. Head over to speedaddicts.com today and pick up yours. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date on the latest parts and gear for two wheels. See you next time to find out what's in the crate.